Hi everybody, I'm Argo Fump. In this video, I'll be playing Fiction Fixers, The Curse of Oz. I'll play the entire game in one video. Seems a little silly to me, because I, I, I did five videos where I played through the entire game, but I'm doing it again! <laughs> so, uh, this is for all you people out on the internet who love long videos instead of the shorter 15 minute videos. At last, the land of Oz. I think this is the start of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> Let's make ourselves at home, shall we? Yeah, that's a really creepy opening. We actually don't see uh, Victor Val. I'll stop the talking. Fiction fixers. After your excellent work on the Wonderland case, we've decided to promote you to the rank of full-fledged fixer. Your assignment will be a routine check on the wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. We have no word on any literati involvement. However, we like to occasionally check on our more famous works just to make sure they're in peak condition. Fixer Phoebe is busy with another case, so you will be handling this one alone. Be sure to head to the tech department and pick up your fictionizer. Now I'm gonna talk. There's a lot to talk. We don't actually see Victor hang out with, uh, Victor Vile. He's a villain in that opening scene. We, we don't see him hang out with the Wicked Witch of the West in this game, which is sad. They could have made a great team. I don't know who my boss is. She looks like she's supposed to be a fairy godmother. And she says, uh, Fixer Phoebe from the previous game will not be appearing in this one. That's only half true. Uh, you could tell that the person who played Fixer Phoebe in the first game is playing Dorothy in this game. Hey there, Fixer. I'm Joel, the lead research and development officer of the Fiction Fixers. The chief says I need to outfit you with a fictionizer. So here you are. A copy of the wonderful Wizard of Oz is on the table behind me. Use your fictionizer on it to get started. Good luck in there, Fixer. This is kind of cool. We get to see a little bit more of, uh, you know, the Fiction Fixer headquarters. If they had made a third game, I imagine we might have seen even more uh, of the headquarters, right? So we're just... We're, we're, we're gonna go inside this uh, famous book and we're gonna we're gonna basically play through the entire book Starting with uh, the beginning where Dorothy Gale is in Kansas and there is a tornado No, oh, all right, so we're here <laughs> I, I thought there would be like a, a cutscene or something, but nope, we're here. We're here. We're here in Kansas Let's meet Dorothy Excuse me you must help. A storm is coming and I cannot find my dog, Toto. Maybe he's in the house, but the door is locked and chained. How will we get in? As I said, that's clearly uh, the person who played Fixer Phoebe in uh, the previous game. So we have a barn. I, I wish we could explore the barn or do something. Uh, anyway, we're, we're gonna grab the items to get bolt cutters. We're gonna go back here. We've got two of the items there. And now we have the bolt cutters. That's something they do in this game. Uh, a little hidden objects challenge like that where you have to find three or four items. That is a terrible tornado. And over here on the right hand side is more of a hidden objects challenge. We need to find all the items listed at the bottom of the screen. Let's see if we can find them all. It should be easy. The rusty key is there every single time. The other items are just sort of uh, random. It's randomly determined, so sometimes you have to find the, the rusty wheel, uh, sometimes you have to find the heart, and I imagine sometimes you have to find the tic-tac-toe, sometimes you have to find the gloves, that sort of thing. Okay, so there's a flag, there is the uh, crow over here, I'll use the old hat here, just to show that's what the hint button looks like. Yeah, you have to play the game more than once to actually know the, the hidden object screens are, are randomized. Alright, so we use the bolt cutters here. And we're going to open the door. Yes, Victor Vile is trying to ruin the book by basically destroying it from the start. If Dorothy can't find Toto, if she can't get into the house, then she won't travel to the Land of Oz. So we're helping her, we're fixing the story by letting her inside the house with Toto. 
and Toto is hidden by a hidden objects challenge. What is some of the stuff in this house? Just, uh, uh, you know, we have a gun, we have an oven. Oh, we have like a, a little storm tornado shelter. Huh, hmm, I guess that's where Aunt M and Uncle Henry are right now. Yeah, we won't get to see them in this game, actually. So let's see, letter block, uh, we need to see a thimble. I, I need the, the hint timer to recharge fully before I can get more hints. Oh, and Toto's back here. That's Toto. Sewing machine over there. Clock hand over there. Owl. Perfume. Still looking for a glass marble. I like this game, but I do think it has too many hidden object challenges. That's um, most of the game actually is hidden object challenges. We occasionally have puzzles, but the the previous game had more puzzles. Let's see, where's the arrowhead? I'll use a hint for it. Toto, where are you? Toto's right here, Dorothy. There you are, Toto. Oh no, what's happening? Toto, hold on! Toto, it looks like we're stuck in the tornado. How are we gonna get out? So, what happens is uh, the tornado lifts up her house, takes her away from Kansas, and lands her in the land of Oz. But first, we need to solve this puzzle. Click on all the cars. Apparently I'm missing a car somewhere. Oh, Did there. It. It's hidden behind the tree. Now I need to stop the tractors. All right, you stop them. Finally, we need to stop those cows. Go away, cows. We don't want you hitting the house. That would be a problem. Mm, looks like those were the last of them. We're alive, Toto. I thought we were doomed. Are you okay? What's that strange light? Let's step outside and see how bad the damage is. Toto is such a good dog. We're not gonna see him again after this, but he's still a good dog. Oh my, Toto. Where are we? Greetings. I am the Good Witch of the North, and you are in the once beautiful land of Oz. Once beautiful? What happened? A great evil came to this land. A man, shrouded in shadow, appeared and built towers that consumed the people, light, and energy of this very place. Is there anything we can do to help? Seek out Oz, the great wizard. Follow the yellow brick road to the Emerald City and take this, the kiss of a good witch. It may be helpful on your journey. Now go. I must return to my lands and protect them. Dorothy has joined the group. I like this okay. Uh, I, I really think uh, the game made a mistake in starting out Oz like this dark and serious purplish dark area. Because uh, Victor Vile, he's raised like several towers all over the land of Oz. Like Evil Tower number one, Evil Tower number two, and then Evil Tower number three is around there. Or maybe Evil Tower number four. So we need to stop Victor Vile, destroy his evil towers. But I, I would have copied the book more. I would have had the munchkins appear. Um, it's nice that we got to see the Good Witch of the North. She's a character who's in the book. She's not in the famous Wizard of Oz movie, so it's nice to see her. But, um, this version, by eliminating the Munchkins, it kind of also eliminates the story of the this witch. This witch. Dorothy's house landed on a witch and, and, and killed her. And that's sort of a big deal. Dorothy now has the magic slippers. But that's just not even explained at all in this game. And that's kind of sad. That's like an element of the book I would have tried to keep. I would have had like the Munchkin Farmer because uh, that's a character who 
plays a little bit of a role in the book, but is not in the movie. That's basically how I would do it if I was making this game. I, I would try to focus a little bit more on the stuff which is not in the movie, the stuff that's specific to the book. And they did some of that by having the, the Witch of the North. All right, so uh, we need to follow the yellow brick road. Also, the good witch gives uh, Dorothy a kiss in the book that, that protects Dorothy, right? That That is what stops the wicked witch of the West from just immediately cursing Dorothy. And uh, this game does have the kiss, but it doesn't explain that it's a protective kiss that will protect her from evil magic. And it doesn't entirely protect her from evil magic because she still falls victim to the poppy field, which is in this game as well, the poppy field, although we don't have the field mice uh, saving the day. They do have the book solution, kind of, just the book solution without the field mice. And I guess that makes sense. I, I was just looking forward to the field mice. All right, we have rope, we have a padlock, we have some hay. Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. And Bolt is there. I do get confused with hidden object challenges when they have stuff like that. It's like a bolt. Well, it meant the mechanical bolt and not a lightning bolt. Or the Disney movie bolt. <laughs> So that's Victor Vile. He has messed up the story by uh, destroying the Scarecrow. Good day. Oh my, Toto. Talking Scarecrow. How do you do? I'm not well, for it is very tedious being perched up here. Even if I was to get down, I don't have any stuffing since that shadowy man has taken it all. So we are going to give him some hay. Now I'm stuffed with hay, but if I move, it'll fall out. So now we need to find a way to keep his hay into place. And that's what Victor did. Victor cursed the Scarecrow so the Scarecrow couldn't just come down and hang out with me immediately. Which is pretty much what happens in the book. So, I feel like that is a little bit much uh, in addition to like the evil tower that's making everything dark and scary. And we actually haven't really found out about the tower. I know the Good Witch talked about it, but it's like you wouldn't really know, hey, we want the tower. That's our main goal here in this first segment. Um, hey, they got the desert on the side of Oz. Ooh, that's cool. That's, that's from the books as well. There's a desert running around all four sides of the land of Oz. That's say so we go back here and we solve another hidden objects challenge I haven't seen one of those in a while so we need to find a barometer a door handle I am NOT finding anything there we go and then wrenches clothespin card and scissors there's the card there are the scissors there's a leaf there's a branch, wicker basket. This is a lot of stuff Aunt Em and Uncle Henry had in their house. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little surprised here. Let's see, granite, where's granite? It's here. Oh, and uh, I mean, not to give away the ending to this game, but it does follow the ending of the book where it's a true story. Everything's real. Everything actually happened. I wasn't a huge fan of the movie where it's all just a dream at the end. It's like, no, I kind of like Dorothy going to a, a magical world. That, that's kind of cool. Why would you get rid of the magic by saying, nah, she was just sleeping? Okay, so we, we got uh, twine. Sorry, I talked over the puzzle. Okay. Uh, from the Hidden Objects Challenge, you get scissors. You use the scissors on the string on the fence post. That gives you some twine. You'll use the twine to fix Mr. Scarecrow. Hey, you did it! I think I can get down from here if you would give me a hand. Thank you very much for helping. Now then, who are you and where are you going? My name is Dorothy, and I'm off to see the Wizard of Oz in the Emerald City. Who is Oz, and where is the Emerald City? 
See, I have in the brain with which to make these things. Oz is a powerful wizard who can save this land and send me home. He lives in the Emerald City down the Yellow Brick Road. Do you think if I go with you to the Emerald City that this Oz would give me some brains? Oh, I'm not so sure. But you can come along if you like. The Scarecrow has joined the group, and he has a special Scarecrow power, getting rid of crows. And I like that. He's got his own special power. Give me a moment. I'm going to go to the main menu here and just, uh, let's see. Turn down the special effects, because that lightning was a little too loud. Yes. Couldn't really hear the Scarecrow in that scene. So now we're going to the forest. Uh, the forest is very dark, and this lets us know we need to construct a lantern, finding items all over the game. So one is here, and we have a hidden objects challenge. All right, let's see if we can find everything. A feather, a feather in the cap, a tea bag, a star, a bunch of wagon wheels. Mouse trap, acorns, kettle, the kettle. I don't know, playing card and spoon. Spoon, playing card, let's use a hint for the kettle. That's over there. An area complete, yay, that area is complete now. Grab an item from here, grab an item from there. Area complete. Do have to solve a puzzle over here. Use the jar, use the funnel, put this inside, and then we pump oil into it. Area complete! And now we're going to light our lantern, use the oil. Yeah, the kiss and the silver shoes are just going to hang around in Dorothy's inventory for the whole time. She's not going to use them to solve any puzzles. <laughs> all right, the lantern goes over here for a puzzle. What we need to do is light all of those lanterns, if we can. Like this. Simple enough. So over here, our pathway is blocked. We're going to have to get the tin woodman to take care of that. So let's find him. <laughs> Please, help. I'm all rusted up from that shadowy man making it rain on me while I was chopping wood. Oh my, what would you like me to do? If you would be so kind, try to find some oil for my joints. So that's the Tin Woodman. I kind of like how we have the evil nasty tree in the background. We're not going to interact with the tree or, or at any point, but it's still kind of cool that it's there. They threw it in the game. Uh, also, like, that's not changing the story very much, because that, that's the story in the uh, original book, is he was caught in the rain. Only this time, Victor Vile is the reason he was caught in the rain. I don't know how Victor did that. Victor, I don't know, let's say he has magic powers. He stole some magic powers from the witch. Uh, in the movie, the Wicked Witch shows up around this time, causes problems for, uh, the Tin Man, and, uh... The Scarecrow, and that was actually a pretty good scene. Yeah, no. Wizard of Oz is an amazing movie. Very good movie. Highly recommended from me. Uh, we need a paintbrush. We need a padlock. We need a basket. This might be a good time for me to show you a little cheat. And if you go back to the main menu, your hint meter magically refills. So you don't even have to try with these hidden objects challenges. You can just do this. It does take a little while, but you know what? Maybe that's faster than finding all the objects. In fact, I think it is faster than finding all the objects. We're going to use the oil can on the Tin Man, who has an amazing mustache. Uh, the rust is gone. But I can't go anywhere without my axe. Maybe you could find it for me. Maybe I could, and maybe I can't. I'm not sure. So we need to find all the items. I, I will find it. 
Uh, all, all the items, let's see, there's one, and the last one's over here. Now we're gonna give him his item. There it is, my trusty axe. I might have stood there forever if you had not come along. How did you happen to be here? We are on our way to the Emerald City in search of the Great Oz. He might be able to help the land, send me home, and get the Scarecrow a few brains. Since I'm made of tin and I have no heart, do you suppose Oz could give me one? I guess so. It would be as easy to give the Scarecrow his brains. <laughs> so the Tin Man has now joined our little group. Not sure I like the Tin Man in this version. Um, he seems overly... Yeah, scary tree, jeez. Um... He, he seems a little too dark and serious for uh, the, the for the story. I kind of wish it went into his background. Like that's one of my favorites, hearing his story of how he became a Tin Man and his tragic romance, and that's why he wants a heart. He had a tragic romance. If you're super interested in the stories in the book, just uh, go to my YouTube channel Argofump Reads, where I have a full book review. That's my channel where I do book reviews. So I, I explain the, the book in several, in a lot of detail, because it's an exciting story that I'm really fond of. Someone let me out. I'm scared. So very scared. This now, poor lion is trapped in a cage. We have to help him. Now this is different, this is different. It's not from the book, this is made up for the game. A uh, lion got trapped in a cage. Poor lion, and I think the key is in the woodman's shed. Which is weird and makes no sense. Like, why does he have the key for the cage? Was he the one who locked the lion in the cage? That's sort of what the game is implying. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It's very mean of the, uh, the woodman to lock the lion inside a cage. The fact that it's a talking lion should make a difference, right? He's not a dangerous lion. He won't attack anybody. He's too scared to attack anybody. There's a knife. There's a syringe. Let's see if I can find that doorknob. Nope, let's just use a hint for it. Was it on the door? Yeah, it was. Silly me. So we're gonna free the lion. Oh, that's right, we have the slider puzzle. Um, I don't quite know how to solve the slider puzzle, but I can just move things around, which is what you do in slider puzzles a lot of the time. So I move that up. So yeah, I think I move those two things up so I can move those two left. So I can move this down and this down and then that key to the right. Oh, thank you, thank you. I let that shadowy man trap me in a cage. Of course, that is to be expected from a coward like me. How did you happen this way? We are trying to find the Emerald City and the Great Wizard Oz to save this land. And what makes you a coward? It's a mystery. I suppose I was born that way. Do you think the wizard has enough power to give me courage? If he can help to save Oz, send me home, give the Scarecrow brains and the Tin Man a heart, then yes, he should be able to give you courage. I will join you then. For as long as I'm a coward, I will be unhappy. Perhaps I can be of some use at the very least. I'm just realizing Dorothy wears a turtleneck in this version. Huh, I'm not sure how to feel about that. Uh, she is wearing her outfit from the book, a uh, blue and white uh, checkered apron. They make a point of mentioning it in the book. Finally, the fiction fixers have come to the party. I was wondering when you would be arriving. What do you think of my handiwork so far? Unfortunately, you won't be seeing any more of it. Meet my new friends, the Kalidas. I think you'll love them. <laughs> So 
Lord Akali does. They are monsters from the book. And uh, in the book, the lion is like really scared of them and has to cross a pit with the Kali does at the bottom, I, I think? But uh, here he just scratches them and they go away. Well, that was easy. And here we need to destroy the tower. So that's why I said when Victor, when I said Victor Vile set up evil towers all over Oz, which is turning the land dark and gray. And it does take a while for us to actually reach the tower. Yeah, yeah, so I, I probably would have gotten rid of the tower. Like I said, would have had the munchkins instead. Tower is not the worst idea, but I, I, you know, let people explore the land of Oz before turning it dark and evil. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like the um, the previous game, Alice in Wonderland, or it's uh, Adventures in Wonderland, I think it's called. Fiction Fixers Wonderland, you can see my walkthrough for that uh, if you want. I feel like it kind of did a better job uh, with Fixer, that. Vile is using some sort of new technology to destroy the land of Oz. It's a good thing you went into the story. Do your best to make sure the story is complete and stop all of Victor Vile's towers. Everything is totally different. Everything is bright and sunshiny. It's like, yeah, I wish this had been what the game looked like uh, the whole time. Like, we could have had some time in fun, happy Oz first uh, before it turns nasty and evil. That's what I would have done. We still could have had the towers and the evilness. But, uh, you know, I... I I feel like we could have explored this, this fun area This ditch is much too first. large to get across. How will we ever get to Oz now? And we have the solution from the book. The lion will jump across, carrying Dorothy on his back. Get on my back and we'll jump across. Oh goodness, you made it across. That was quite the leap for a cowardly lion. I didn't know I had it in me. Oh no. This river is in the way. I wonder if the lion can make it across. I'm far too scared of water to try a jump here. Well Sad then, we'll have to find another way across. Sadly, we don't get much of the nice, happy Oz here. Uh, we, we very quickly go back to scary and and sad purple Oz. I kind of like the uh, little bit of dialogue there about the lion. And that's sort of what happens in the book as well. The lion is a lot braver than he actually thought. He thought he was very cowardly, but he destroyed the Kalidas, and he managed to jump across. And that's sort of like a moral of the book. It's like, you know, he's kind of brave all along without quite realizing it. And we have something like that with the Scarecrow. The Scarecrow has good ideas all along. And there, there's a section where the Tin Man cries because he doesn't want to see a bug get hurt. And that's him showing heart. Help. He had heart all Help along. Help me! The scarecrow fell off the raft and is stuck out in the river. We have to find a way to get him back. All right, so the scarecrow is stuck. This is, in fact, something that happens in the book as well. He gets stuck in the middle of the river. So uh, we do a hidden object challenge. That is not in the book. They made that up for the game. <laughs> we need to find a large hook. That is not a large hook. Okay. What is the large hook? That is the thing I clicked on! I clicked on it like three times! I don't like it when that happens. Alright, so we need to find an axe, a kettle, a wine cork, old bucket, old watch. I am finding nothing here. I'm sorry. Uh, fishing pole. That is the fishing pole. I clicked on it. Ugh. So let's start using hints. I think I saw the... I was gonna say wine bottle, but no, it's wine cork. That is, I guess the cork is close to the bottle. That makes sense. And then the pocket watch is over here. And some of these items are reused for multiple hidden object scenes. That hammer, yeah, I'm pretty sure we see the hammer a few times. Um, snail and bottle cap. Oh, I saw the snail. Yeah, the snail is using a couple of these object scenes too. Axe, I think, shows up multiple times, and then I'll just use a hint for our friend the bottle cap. There it is. Our 
gonna go fishing here. We feed the fish to the stork. And now we use the stork to get the scarecrow. Oh my, what's happening? I thought I would be stuck out there forever. Thank you for saving me. Now, let's find our way to Oz. Scarecrow's back in the group again. And uh, next we have the poppy field section. I'm impressed. I didn't expect a fiction fixer to make it this far. You're probably a little tired after all of that hard work. So why don't you take a nap? Allow my flowery friends to help. Oh no. I'm getting so tired. Scarecrow, we need to get Dorothy and the lion out of here before they fall asleep. So the lion just fell asleep. We're going to come back for him later. Yeah, so a couple of the things that, that happened that Victor Vile did are just things for the book. They fall asleep in the poppy fields in the book. Scarecrow gets trapped on this on the book. Rain freezes the Tin Man in the book. It's like, what is Victor Vile doing to change the story? Nothing. He, he's been doing nothing besides building those towers. It seems like the pollen is mostly gone. We should check on the lion. All right, so now we need to get all these items to help save the lion. Just making a little uh, cart for him. That way we can drag him to safety. In the book, the field mice helped. Uh, there's the queen of the field mice. The tin man helped them out, or helped her out. And all the mice pulled the wagon to safety. However, not in this version. In this version, we have to get smelling salts for the lion. Which are right over there. Let's see, wooden planks. Magnifying glass, dusty hat. I don't see any of these items. All right, magnifying glass there. Sextant there. That was inside the uh, Tin Woodman's area. Same with the large spring, I believe. Pitchfork. Oh, hammer. Did, didn't we have that in the... We had that in the exact previous one. I guess that just proves my point, that they're reusing the exact same era, uh, item. That's the candle, actually. That shows up in a lot of them, too. There's the hammer, like exa exact same hammer, exact same angle, dusty hat, axe, oh, that's the same axe, they turned that one upside down then. Smelling salts on the lion. Oh my, I must have fallen asleep. Did that terrible man put me to sleep? We'd better get moving if we're gonna get to the Emerald City. Lions joined the group, and now we're going to continue. Could it be? Is that really the Emerald City? We're nearly there. Wait, where is that beam coming from? You can't even tell it's an Emerald City because of that evil purple tower. So yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. Nope. Trying to ring the doorbell to see your precious Oz. You must know that it is too late. I cannot be stopped. This should leave a ringing in your ears. He just got rid of the bells for the door, and hey, he finally did something unique to uh, mess us up instead of just <laughs> letting the book happen uh, in the exact same order things happen in the book. So he gets rid of bells. We need to find all the bells in order to save in order to reopen this area. Hard stick, scepter, berries. Um, there's that candle. I'll use it for the stamp. 
And we need to find these things too. So let's see if we can find them. One over there. Bell over there. Area complete. Bell over here. That thing over there. Hidden objects challenge for the bell. Alrighty, anchor. Broken ga gauge. Fly, that is a fly. Yes, horseshoe shows up a lot too in this game. Faucet, there's that nail. Ranch is somewhere there. Uh, chess piece, which is a pawn. I'll just use hints for the last two. There's a shotgun. Eh, I think that was the shotgun from uh, Uncle Henry's house. Hmm. So some of these items are not just in hidden object challenges. They're also used as decorations. Alrighty. And there's the bell there. Oh, we're not done with here? Gotta grab this. Excellent. So now we can get inside uh, the city gates. And this is a puzzle, which is inaccurate. That is not how you read music. Uh, it is correct that when you go up, the notes go up, so... C, D, E, like D is one above, C, E is one above, D, but that, that's, that's not where C is, that's not where C is. Simple enough puzzle, and now we can go inside. Welcome to the Emerald City. May I ask your business here? We've come to see your wizard known as Oz. Would we be able to talk with him? You can't enter the Emerald City without the proper eyewear. You'll need a pair of green goggles before you continue. And how would we go about getting green goggles? Well, I cannot simply just give away the green goggles. You'll have to find a voucher and bring it to me before I can requisition some for you. This would make more sense if everything wasn't dark and purple. If it was actually a green Emerald City, then it makes sense we have to get the green goggles. Something I liked about the previous game is you could just pick up items. Like, that's an item. That is clearly an item we could pick up. But we can't pick it up yet. Ah, uh, well. Let's see. We need to find a recorder. Here's the, the golden voucher over there. Fancy salt shaker. Nail and a moon. Uh, picture frame over there. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to start using hints here, unless. Yeah, nope. Let's let's just hit this one as well. Yeah, that was a hard one to see. I guess all these hidden object challenges are hard to see because everything's dark and purple. There's the crown. Yeah. And there's the shot glass. All right, here's your ticket, sir. I see you've managed to find a voucher for the green goggles. Very well, then. Here you are. Just a note of caution. Oz has not been himself lately. He's been acting strange and has shut himself up inside of his throne room. How mysterious. We put the goggles into place and so now we can go forward. Oz's throne room is locked and now we can pick up those objects. Like, that's clearly an object we can pick. Um, that's clearly one we can pick. That's one we can pick. And I believe we're supposed to go outside over here. Uh, maybe we should finish picking these items, though. I think the third one, or the last one, is over here. There we go. So now we have a watering can. 
I'm gonna fill up the watering can here. And this is just unique to the game. There's there's nothing about watering plants inside uh, Oz in order to meet the... <laughs> yeah, we don't actually see much of the Emerald City in this game, do we? I mean, we just explored the Emerald City and got to see a lot of stuff. But uh, in the book, there's more. Where they wander through the streets, they see a bunch of the citizens and such. And the movie kind of has that. I mean, the movie has a musical number there. And... It, it's a catchy musical number, so I'm not complaining. Let's see. Doorknob and Feather Duster. Now I'm trying to remember. What's the book that... Because they wrote, like, an Oz book right before the movie... I think it's called Ozzo Planing with the Wizard of Oz. And so, um, in that book, like the Guardian of the Gates, that guy we just talked to, and then uh, the servant Jellia Jam, they sort of play a large role. They get to join the uh, excitement in that book. And I, I felt like it was the author, uh, Ruth Plumley Thompson, who thought, well, obviously those are important characters who will play a major role in the movie. And uh, the Guardian of the Gates is in the movie, and he's really, really funny. Yeah, but uh, Jellia is not in the movie at all. They went with a cool musical number instead. And then it's followed by like another musical number where the lion sings, If I was king of the forest! And that's also another very good musical number. Yeah, and then there's a brief thing with the Wicked Witch. Uh, that, yeah... She writes mean things in the sky. Surrender Dorothy is what she writes in the sky. And that's that's good, too, for the sake of the movie, because the witch is really a villain in the movie more so than here. Because, like, have we seen the Wicked Witch at all yet? No. No, she hasn't shown up yet. She's not in, like, the first half of the book. Okay, we did see her plotting with Victor Vile <laughs> a little bit uh, towards the start of this game so I need to find a red marble and a rose and a small gear and it's it's hard to tell the color of anything there's the gear oh there's a hint for that marble excellent so now I'm going to go into this room I'm going to solve two puzzles uh, one is putting doll here. We need to figure out the numbers. It's five, nine, and seven, because that's five. There's five marks. And then IX is Roman numerals for nine. And then this is six, seven dots, seven dots, so it's seven. Yes, it's a dried flower. We need a hammer to get this dried flower, and I believe we get it by solving this hidden objects challenge. Okay, so we've got the shot glass got a lot of shot glasses Dorothy's been getting recently. I'm starting to get a little worried for her. Maybe she needs to lay off the shot glasses. So, let's see. Corkscrew? Nope. If you click too many times in a row, that's what happens. The game's like, ha 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 ha. Stop that. You can't just click randomly. That's totally cheating. And it is. Violin. Let's use hints for these last ones. Feather duster. There we go. Oh, that's a moth. All right. And this is the pocket watch. So that gives me a hammer. I'll use the hammer right over here. I'm surprised they didn't make Dorothy's inventory slightly larger, because, like, the maximum number of items she has in this game... How many is this? One, two, three, four, six. The maximum number of items she has in this game is, like, seven or eight. They could have just added, like, one extra slot to the inventory, and that would have fixed... That would have fixed it. You wouldn't have had to have these left and right arrows for your inventory.
Or maybe don't have the slippers and the kiss clog up your inventory for the entire game. Maybe that's something else they could have done. All right. Enough complaining. Uh, let's solve this puzzle. So, everything on the top needs to be red. So I'm going to have red here on the top. So, red on the top. Red on the top. And red on the top. Who dares enter the throne room of Oz, the great and terrible? I am Dorothy, the small and weak. We need the help of a powerful wizard to help me and my friends accomplish our wishes and save this land. Fixer, why would I help them when I could just destroy this land instead? What have you done with Oz? He's a bit tied up right now, so you'll just have to deal with me. So this is, uh, I mean, this is new, obviously, in the game. Uh, <laughs> we need to defeat the evil Victor Vile. And we are going to have to get an extra, extra marble for it. I mean, this is good, I suppose. Would have been cool if they tried to be like the actual book where um, our heroes get to visit. They all visit the, um, the Wizard of Oz separately, and then each day the wizard shows up uh, completely different. So, you know, he shows up as a giant talking head for Dorothy, and when it's the lion who comes to visit, he is a scary... Um, like ball of fire or maybe ball of fire was the scarecrow and then like with the the tin man he shows up as uh the tin man's girlfriend who the tin man can't love anymore because the tin man doesn't have a heart anymore and that that was that was a really cruel thing for the wizard to do and uh let's see let's just use hints for these other items probably too late to point out that magic necklace we found is going to be a uh, the necklace we found that was right here yeah it's gonna be an inventory item later on we're gonna find a different necklace which looks the exact same and <laughs> we're gonna use it to get inside the the wicked witch's house castle castle not her house all right we have a marble now and we're gonna use the marble what have you here. done with all he's a bit tough Also, because they changed the Wizard of Oz, like, because the wizard isn't here in, uh, because the real wizard isn't here in this version, it's, it's sad. Here, I'm trying to get these yellows lined up correctly. Yeah, because the real wizard isn't here in this version, it's kind of sad. Because that means we don't get the cool scene with uh, the wizard reveal. Because there's a secret about the wizard. There's a secret about this guy. Uh, hopefully it's not a spoiler. Can I say it? Can I say it? Cover your ears if you don't want to hear it. He's not actually a wizard. He's just some dude from Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> He's not a, a real life wizard. He doesn't have magic powers. So uh, by not having the wizard, not really having him in this game, we miss that cool scene. Just sad, I kinda like it. Uh, I should probably explain the puzzle that I'm solving, maybe? Uh, I'm just spinning things around to try to get all the blues. Right now I'm trying to get all the blues in place. Great, so now I need to get this blue next to that blue and then I'll just rotate them into place here. So let's see, I'll have this blue here, no. Move it like that. Ah, getting a little confused. I want that blue there. So let me move this blue out of the way for a moment. Right here. And then I'll move this blue here. So they're right next to each other. So when I click on red, the two blues are right next to each other. I move those blues over here on the right-hand side, and then I just rotate the blues. So now all the blues are in place. Uh, let's see with the reds. What can I do with the reds? red like that. I'm gonna have to get a 
red like that. I'm not sure I'm doing the reds correctly. I'm yeah, that's not doing anything to rotate the reds like that. So... Hmm. have to do is get two reds like that. And then I'll move those two reds into place like this. And that green needs to be a red, so I'm moving the red there. And then I rotate all the reds. Okay, got a little confused Impossible! There. You may save the wizard, but you will not save the rest of this land! So here's the wizard. I, I thank you for saving me. Now, what can Oz the Great and the Terrible do for you? Sir, we all have simple requests. The Scarecrow wants a brain, the Tin Man wants a heart, the lion wants his courage, and I would like to return home to Kansas. And, well, we want to stop the Shadow Man from destroying this land. If I am to help you, then you must help me. First, you must stop this tower behind me, for it is corrupting my land and my kingdom. So this is a math puzzle. We want all these things to make sense. 13. Plus 5 equals 18. 3 times 6 equals 18. 9 times 2 equals 18. 10 plus 8 equals 18. Nice! Done! Excellent work! The Emerald City is safe for now. Next, you must seek out the Wicked Witch of the West. Find your way to her castle and stop her at any cost. Do this for me, and I shall help you. That's going to be our next quest. And now everything looks bright and, and green. The Emerald City is actually green now. So obviously I like it better. <laughs> yeah, we can actually see stuff. I won't be confused thinking everything's purple. I don't think we have any other hidden objects challenges here to solve, though, so it's not really going to help me that I can tell the color of what all these various pieces are. There we go. This is an easy hidden... I mean, a uh, jigsaw puzzle. To I believe the west. that is the Wicked Witch's castle. Let's try to find some sort of path through the thorns. You can see her nasty, nasty, nasty tower. Which, uh, again, it's Victor's tower. It's not her tower. Eagle mushroom. Here's that magic pendant, the one I pointed out inside the, the bedroom in the uh, Emerald City. What was that? It was just a random bedroom that we were robbing. Um, I guess we could pretend it's the bedroom from uh, the book. Because in the book, they visit Oz over the course of, like, a week. Yeah, they spend, like, a week in the Emerald City, whereas uh, in, in, the, in the movie and, like, most adaptations, they don't spend that long in the Emerald City. They, they basically get going with the rest of the story, right? They, they don't have a lot of time to be hanging around the Emerald City. They've got to get going. They've got to stop the evil witch. Not so fast, Fiction Fixer. The Wicked Witch has sent some friends to say hello. My crows will peck your eyes out. <laughs> it's those nasty crows again. It makes perfect sense in the movie that Dorothy and all three of her friends visit the wizard at the exact same time, and that's what they did here in this game. Because if they visit the wizard separately, uh, it's a lot slower, it takes a lot longer. I believe they did that in Muppets, Wizard of Oz, and it's like, oh, suddenly what becomes a two-minute scene becomes like a, a much more expensive 15-minute uh, scene, because each one gets their own separate two-minute segment own monster version of Oz to confront. My hungry friends will devour you. Oh no! More of the terrifying Kali does! 
All right, so uh, what I did was I used the Scarecrow on the crows. I'm gonna use the Tin Man to cut the armor and then use the Lion on the Kalidas. You stopped my pets, I see. Well, meet my pretties. They will make short work of you. No, those monkeys have wings. Look out, one is coming towards you. Help, help. This is very scary, like those Fixer, evil monkeys. What are you doing here? Your fictionizer appears to be broken. Get to the tech lab immediately and get that fixed. If you're not in that story, Vile will destroy it. The monkeys were so terrifying, I got sent back to the office. Oh no! Having a problem with your fictionizer? I can fix it right up. I'll just need a few parts. If you can track down a fictionizer case, bring it back to me. I can help. Will do. So let's grab all the items here. And then we have a hidden objects challenge. I guess it makes sense we have a hidden objects challenge here. <laughs> let's find everything. Key light bulbs over there. Bolt cutters. Barcode? Where's that? Let's use a hint for that. Gas mask, circuit board, uh, lock, ruler. I hear like phones in the background. Like who's calling the fiction fixers, I wonder. What is their phone number? How are people calling them? I, hmm. Very confusing. Well, we're gonna go back. We're gonna grab Get these to the items. tech lab and meet it. And we'll fix our device. If you can track down a fictionizer case, bring it back to me. I can help. You found the pieces for the casing? Excellent. Bring your fictionizer case to the repair table and we'll fix this right up. We have to put these two things on it. And this is going to be a puzzle of rotating the various rings. Let's see, blue's gonna go here. Let's start with blue. Uh, I need to figure out a way for blue to reach the top. That doesn't look like it's correct. Let's see, blue's going to go, uh, I mean, blue starts there. I guess blue goes down here like this. And there we go, we've got blue completely covering most of the board, actually. Let's get green. Uh, let's see, red's gonna have to go like this, like up and around. Which means green's gonna have to go down, maybe? Try not to mess with the, the blue ones I've already got in place, right? Because that would be sad. So if I want my green to work, it's gotta go like that. So now my red is supposed to go like that. Fixer, get back to Oz as soon as possible. We need you to get in there and help Dorothy. Sounds good. So Dorothy, in the meantime, was captured by the Wicked Witch. And uh, the pendants I found will open up the uh, Wicked Witch's doorway. Done. You'll stay here till you give me those silver shoes. There's nothing they can do to help. Yes, take the silver shoes from her. The Emerald City will be yours, and ours will belong to me. <laughs> Help me. This horrible witch is working with the shadowy man, and they've trapped me in this castle. So in the book, um, the witch keeps Dorothy as a servant for like a couple of weeks or so. And uh, the witch... 
witch only has one eyeball in the book. I think she's standing at an angle so you can tell yourself she only has one eyeball uh, in this version that would match the original book because you can't see her one eye, but they, they didn't want to show it, I, I, I think. So we need to grab that water bucket. Uh, we need to find a gavel. There's the fork. Uh, spade was somewhere here. There. There's the gavel. Wrench, gear, bottle, anvil. Um, yeah, let's just start using hints for this. Not a fan of the uh, hidden objects challenges here in the witches area. But we don't have a whole lot to the witches area, right? We, we, we had the field. We had the field, which had a hidden objects challenge. Uh, then we had to fight the monsters in that same field. And uh, we're, we're already inside. It, it, like the map. One spot and then inside, okay? So, we, we, we do not have a whole lot of in-between time between these hidden objects challenges. And I think the same thing happens with Glinda's area to the south. So we got a bucket of water. We're gonna use it on the witch. She will melt. You? What have you done? I shall be melted! You did it! The wicked witch is melted. Hurry, we have to help the others. They have to be around here somewhere. Dorothy's rejoined the group and her friends are over here. Let's see, those are the three to open up the Tin Man. We're gonna have to grab these items. We're trying to construct a, um, a pot so we can pull this down. Yeah, and this is unique to the game. It's kind of a fun little challenge, though. We have to save all three of the friends separately. I'm so scared. You have to let me out of here. She's taken out all of my stuffing and hung me up in chains. There must be a way to cut me down. Well, I'm free from the water, but I still can't move. There's too much rust. Ah, so we need to find the oil can. Right? Oh, okay, fine. Let's not find the oil can. We don't want to save the Tin Man. Whatever. Let's see. Gold coin. Where is that gold coin? There it is. Uh, we want to find heavy weights first. That's what we're finding. French bread over here. Speed symbol. Ants there. Let's see. Beetle. Uh, seashell just randomly hanging around there. And a banana peel there. There's the beetle. Right, so now we're gonna go forward. Grab more items, including a gold cap. And this. And we have another hidden objects challenge. Yeah, so we have two hidden objects challenges on two screens. Um, there's that magic charm we used to get inside her house in the first place. Uh, and that's not including the hidden objects challenge in, in, in the field. I'll just use hints, but yeah, it's definitely definitely a case that we have hidden objects here, hidden objects there, and we just go back and forth between these two screens. We're solving two hidden objects challenges, one for each screen, and that feels like it's a bit too much for me, uh, and that's why I'm not a huge fan of those hidden objects challenges here in the Evil Witch's Castle. It's just a little too much, a little too much. I would have had just you know, two instead of four. I wonder what the shortest segment... I think this might be the shortest segment of the game. Uh, this one with the Wicked Witch, actually. 
Uh, in terms of number of screens... Check the screen number. Yeah, this is like one, two, three, four. That's how many screens there are in the Wicked Witches area, whereas the Emerald City had like these five. I don't know where you count the house and the poppy field. Um, the river, is that part of the, the forest or is that part of the Emerald City? But yeah, yeah, definitely the uh, shortest of the various segments in this game. How could they have made it longer? Well, we could have had the Winkies. Could have the Winkies in this. Uh, could have had the Lion. Uh, I mean, it's just the Lion and Dorothy that get captured originally. The Scarecrow and the Tin Man. Uh, I believe they, 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 they get saved afterwards. They get saved afterwards. After Dorothy defeats the, the witch. She works together with the Winkies, the, the people who live here to restore the Tin Wood Man and the Scarecrow. Okay, so by putting those weights in there, we get this item. That gives me a key, which I'll use to save the lion. The cage is open. Thank you. Gives me some straw, and it opens up a brand new uh, hidden objects challenge. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Alrighty, blue gem, walnut, Insignia. Now we get the oil can. Don't know why we made the Tin Woodman wait so long, the poor fellow. Triangle star. Um, not sure what a plastic reflector is in this particular case. Okay. In this case, it's a reflector made of plastic as opposed to something that reflects plastic. So, oil can gets used on the Tin Man. Ah, much better. I can feel my joints moving again. There's the hay on the Scarecrow. Oh, he's too high to reach. Uh, use the Tin Man to cut him down. <laughs> then use the hay. I'm all stuffed and puffed, ready to move. Let's get going. <laughs> Great, and now we're just gonna go outside here for this puzzle. Uh, we need to make lines that go all the way across the shield device. Yeah, you click on a green dot to visit that green dot. You don't want any, you don't want to cross over the same line twice. That would be bad. I don't know why, but I think this is an easy puzzle. I don't have trouble with this one. Because I've seen versions of this puzzle which are super hard that I have not been able to solve. Excellent but uh, that one was easy enough. Keep moving through the story and stop Vile's plans. He can't have many more of these towers left, so keep your eyes open. Just one tower left. In fact, we're going to put the golden cap on the flying monkey. And this is going to be a puzzle. Having the golden cap and the flying monkey was... Um, is a smart enough move. Goes into more detail about those flying monkeys. Uh, there's a whole chapter dedicated to their entire backstory in uh, in the book. Well, actually, I guess you could say it's like a chapter and a half because we learn more about how the the wicked witch got the golden cap, which allows you to control these monkeys. And when you have the monkeys, you have three wishes. Uh, Dorothy uses one of the wishes to have the flying monkeys fly them back to the wizard's uh, little area. Who calls upon the powers of the flying monkey king? We have slain the wicked witch of the west, and we wish to return to the Emerald City to inform the wizard. Very well. I shall grant your request. You will be brought back to Oz. Yeah. And that's Lice. That's what Dorothy does here in the game. She uh, uses her we first to wish to travel here. Witch. He must keep his promise to help us. 
Unfortunately, Dorothy doesn't really get to use the uh, flying monkeys for anything else. The second wish is sort of like a, a waste, as I recall. They're like, nope, sorry, can't do that. Bye. And it's like, oh, come on, guys. Give, give her a new wish. You... you've returned. Does that mean the Wicked Witch is dead? The witch has been melted and is dead. Will you keep your promise and help us? I shall keep my promise the best I can. For the Tin Men, I have a heart. The Scarecrow, a brain. The Cowardly Lion, a bottle of courage. We get to give out all these items. Here's some liquid courage, Mr. Lion. Wherever we go next, I will not be afraid. Here's a metal heart, Mr. Woodman. This pulse makes me feel that much more human. And here is a canvas brain for the Scarecrow. I think I can already feel myself thinking. However, I'm afraid that I don't have the power to help you, Dorothy. You must brave the jungle and seek out Glenda, the good witch of the South. Well, that's going to be our final thing. We're going to go to the South, meet Glinda the Good Witch. But first we have a hidden objects challenge. Glinda, Glinda was sort of in the movie. Uh, like, like at, at the start of this game, we met the Good Witch of the North. And we're going to finish the game by meeting Glinda. Well, in, in the movie, they're the same witch. Uh, the, the witch who shows up at the start and explains you have to go visit the Wizard of Oz. Uh, that's, the, that's the same as Glinda at the end of it. But here, uh, this book, I mean, this game follows the book where the Witch of the North is not Glinda. Glinda is a totally separate witch. That's kind of nice because we, we get to meet all four of the witches of Oz. Kind of. One of them had a house dropped on her, so I don't see uh, a whole lot of her. We have a map piece. That's the point of solving that hidden objects challenge. We get the map piece so we can open this map to reach Glinda's area. I think this piece, yeah, goes over there. This is sort of hard to see. So many pieces are overlapping. It's a lot tinier than the previous map too. That makes it difficult. There we go. So I'm trying to get everything into place. It's a castle, like that's that's a castle on the right hand side. It goes on the right hand side somewhere. Wait, these things go here? Down at the bottom? Yeah, they do. Great. Hmm. Ah, got that. That's a tower. This goes on top. Yeah, if you're a big fan of these Oz uh, video games. Another one, Emerald City Confidential. I liked that one. I did a video walkthrough for that one, and it was fun. So you can check out my video for that. Let's go over here. This is the biggest wall I've ever seen. Lion, can you jump us over? Even with my courage, this wall is too tall for me. All right, so now we need to find uh, various pieces to make a ladder. I'm going to grab these things here. After cutting them with, with the Tin Woodman. And now we have a ladder. This is not what the ladder is like in the uh, actual book, though. I think it's just I, I I think it's just a tall wall. It doesn't have like giant faces sticking out of it or anything. Uh, let's see. So now we want to find a field mouse, which is the same mouse we've seen in many of these hidden objects challenges so far. I'm trying to find the torch can. We need to find the pencil. We need to find the uh, wreath. 
Where's that marble? Ribbon and a cricket. There's the marble. There's the ribbon. Let's use a hint for the cricket. And this is the forest, which is kind of in the book. Close enough. Yeah! The vines have come alive and have trapped us all. Pin Man, are you free to cut us down? I can't. These vines have knocked me into this spider web. I'm stuck and my axe won't cut them. There must be some other way to get him out. We just need to think. I believe in the book it's 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 the fighting trees, right? The trees in the forest want to fight them, and so he uses his axe to basically cut the tree branches to help them get through. Let's see, we have a chain, we have a hat, we have a paper fan somewhere. Fire steel. Uh, what is that? I don't know. Rose. Carrot. Carrot. That's definitely carrot. Hand sickle and a fork. And, um. Uh, here we go. There's that fire steel. Uh, hints close enough to reloading. I'll just wait it out. There's the hand sickle. There's the paper fan. And here's the fork. can find the items here, it says. Paper. Gives me the torch. I'm gonna put all my items here. I need just one more item, which I'll get for the, uh, through the hidden objects challenge. It's this item. That's the item I need. Here's the eyeball. Uh, spoon, compass, salt shaker, birdhouse. Maybe I'll just use hints for all of this. I'm already giving up. I'm like, oh, way too many hidden objects challenges. Maybe if I didn't try playing this game all at once, uh, I would have a bit more stamina for these hidden objects challenges. But now it's like, I have to find the same. Like this old hat. We found this hat like three times already. Okay, I'm getting tired of doing the same hidden objects challenge with the same items every single time. The same book we keep finding every time, and then finally the same salt shaker. Is it going to be different? It's... No, that's the same salt shaker. So now we have a torch. We're going to use that to free the tin man. It's a good thing I'm made of tin. I couldn't even feel that fire. Thank you for freeing me. So he's joined the group, and now he'll save his friends. Oh, thank you. I thought Toto and I would never get out of there. I'm trying to pick up the tin man. <laughs> Those vines were trying to squeeze me into pieces. Dear me, that was becoming a tight squeeze. Thank you. I Great. see you've reached the last leg of the journey. Well, my friend has enough legs for all of you. Rose! That is the biggest spider I've ever seen. Tin Man, can you chop it? I don't think I can. That spider's too big even for my axe. So we do have a spider monster in the actual book. This is accurate, although uh, I believe the lion defeats the spider monster. Was it a spider monster or a different monster? Anyway, he defeats the monster simply by slicing its head off when it's asleep. With my new courage, I'm not afraid of it. I'll take care of that spider right now. Mm. 
And I like that. It's a happy ending for the lion. He gets to become king of the forest. Everybody loves him, and he decides to stay there at the end of the book, which is nice. And sadly, this area is not complete. We don't get the area complete sign, so that's how we know we're gonna come back and do that hidden oh, object no. challenge again. It looks like that shadow man has affected the Quadlings land as well. So we need to find these items. Uh, this item, basically, is the, the one item we are constructing. And we have a hidden object challenge. Let's see if we can find everything. Conch shell, snake, loaf of bread again. Uh, the same recorder. I really love that recorder. I've got to find it five times. Otherwise, it just doesn't just doesn't make me happy. You know, uh, the hanger, the cheese grater, the stamp, um, stein, this thing, candle. And a bird nest. We're gonna get rid of the crow. The scarecrow, use the pry bar to get that from the sign. This is something they totally made up for the game, by the way. Like there's there's like no indication of uh, the quadlings being turned into stone. I'm not sure why that's the case. That seemed like an odd decision to implement. Who knows? There's the stein. We found that stein already. It's the exact same one. Uh, the butterfly. The wash rag is the item we're looking here. Uh, it's probably the same fancy salt shaker. Oh no, that's a normal salt shaker. Uh, pepper grinder over here. We're gonna find a ring and a harmonica. That's the wash rag. Wash rag is going to be used over here. So we can smash this. Uh, but first we have to get the item from the center area. Glass egg. Plunger. Lead pipe. That's the item we're going to get from here. There's a rune plate. Eggplants. Gold bracelet. Cinnamon. Broken lantern. Razor blade, flower, and... Oh, I can't use a hint. Iron stake. So now I'm gonna smash this thing here. My pry bar. Area complete. So we just need to memorize the symbols. This is 12. That's 12 over there. This is three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, I got them in uh, numerical order. That that's useful. Three, six, nine, twelve. Gives me two jewels. I need to find two jewels each in a hidden objects challenge. Let's find them all. Dolphin. It's a dolphin. Oh, it's a wooden dolphin. It's not like an actual dolphin. Okay, fine. That makes sense. Haha. <laughs> Old boot, weather vane, cleaver. Uh, where's that boomerang we found like 12 times already? We're finding it again. A uh, sugar bowl, uh, wooden ladle, and a uh, teacup. Teacup, teacup. Uh, let's see, iron we found plenty of times as well. Here, we're going to solve this. We we aren't going to save the quadlings, by the way. We don't do anything for them. They remain frozen forever. Those poor fellows. Hopefully, hopefully, Glinda saves them at one point. I think after we leave, we we can just assume Glinda was nice and, and saved her people from being frozen statues. Or maybe we can assume that defeating the evil uh, Victor Vile at the end of the game is enough to save them and revert them back to normal. I don't know. I feel like Glinda, Glinda's very, a very nice person. She would definitely help out her, her citizens. Butterfly. Eh, I probably didn't need to use a hint for that butterfly. Alright, so now we're 
basically done with the game. We've got all the screens finished except for inside Glenda's castle where we have like three puzzles in a row to defeat the evil Victor Vile and that will be the end of the game. Let's do it. Let's do it. End game challenge. Now. It's coming to this fiction fixer. I didn't think I would actually have to go this far but you simply cannot stop meddling. My plans. Witness my true power. I have become unstoppable. <laughs> you must help. Vile has trapped me in this field and is using my energy and the energy of Oz. The machines are feeding him. Hurry! Quick, we must save Glinda. Stop Vile or the land of Oz is doomed. Let's do it. So, all four puzzles, let's go. Number one is a simple enough one where you have to uh, move pieces left and right. So I'm trying to get all the greens on the left-hand side, whereas I'm trying to get all the uh, reds on the right-hand side. Let's see, I'm gonna put this one down. This one here. That one there, maybe? Let's see. Uh, like this, move that red up, and then move these greens down. There we go, that's that's beautiful. That's a lot easier to handle. Uh, let me move this green down. Um, and I need to get this, this one green on the bottom. Yeah, I definitely need to get it on the bottom. Let's see, move that there. This one there, that green there, that red there, that green there, that green there, that red there, that green there, that red there, that green there, and that red there. I knew what I was doing. I wasn't sure how to vocalize it properly. Besides just saying that there, that there, that there, that there. So destroyed one of my machines. That will not stop me. Next machine, a slider puzzle. Let's see. I think I need to move everything. Um, Green down, and this down. I might come with this down like that. No, that's not the best because now green stuck. Green can't go up. So, uh, hmm. I guess I could have just hit the reset button there. Yeah, let's just hit the reset button. together there. That, yeah, I should have moved the green up sooner, but let's see, I green up like this, and then I get stuck there. Um, hmm. Green down. This down, I, I'm bringing up a lot of room there. up. Great. Now I can move things down and around like this. That's it. And I'll sneak these ones like that. Now I'm just moving everything. You see I'm moving everything in a clockwise fashion is what I'm doing. So by moving everything in a clockwise fashion I am uh, slowly making room for this this one to show up. Uh, the uh, This big one there. Great. Oh, a minor setback. I still have more than enough energy. Now for the really tough one that I don't quite remember how to do. Let's see, I move that like this. And then these like that, maybe. Gosh, I need to be able to move this one down, so I can move this down like that, so I can move that there, and then perhaps this up, so I can move this up, and this left, and then now I'm stuck, so I can't move those. Okay, so I have to move those like that. Um, hmm. Wait. This right, so I can move that there. 
this down and up. Yes, that's it. And I can move Greeny over there. Um, maybe this there. And I move this back down and these down and around. Uh, maybe that red one there. Um, hmm. Yeah, that doesn't help. <laughs> well, I had a nice thought, anyway. That was a nice thought. Let's see that there. Ooh, yeah. See, like, maybe this there, and then green. That way, green. Yeah, see, I'm moving green underneath that one. And then I could just rotate these four here in the center to get red in the corner. That's it, right? Okay, great. I'm like, what? Why isn't the game giving me the win? Rise, you might fiction fixer. I am a mortal now. There's nothing that you can do. And here's where we stop the villain. We're going to put these here. And this is where we finally use that uh, kiss that we've been carrying around for the entire game. We finally use it here to open up this box. Yeah. As I said, I, th I think the, the, the Good Witch's Kiss could have been used differently in this game. Probably could have been used better. That's not the way it is in the book. So I'm uh, just going to be moving things around with uh, this puzzle. I think this is the solution. Yep, that's it. Just go right to middle, middle to right, right to left, middle to right, and then you repeat that cycle twice. What? Impossible! You can't destroy me! I am pure, pure energy! Thank you, Dorothy and friends. And you, stranger. Thank you for ridding the Land of Oz of that Victor Vile and his terrible machines. You must be Glinda. The Wizard of Oz said that you had magic that could get me home to Kansas. He did, did he? Those silver shoes you possess have wonderful powers. They should have all the magic you need to get home. The slippers had the power the whole time. <laughs> what do you think of that, Toto? <coughs> that is very much the case. Bring them to me and I'll show you. Hey! Toto actually did something. Hooray! It's impossible to leave the castle right now. All right, all right. The game is not letting us leave the castle because it's the end of the story. We give the slippers to Glinda. All you have to do is knock the heels together three times and tell the shoes where you wish to go. Silver shoes. Take me home to Kansas. So you'll be leaving us then? Even with my new brain, I still can't make sense of it. Now that I have a heart, I might cry, and that will cause me to rust. Imagine that. Even though I'm filled with courage, this still makes me sad. Dorothy goes home. Thank you so much, Fiction Fixer, for aiding my friends, saving everyone in the Land of Oz, and for helping me to get home. Goodbye and good luck. Welcome back, Fixer. Excellent job in there. It seems as though Vile actually turned himself into energy. When you shut down his device, you shut down Vile. Permanently. I doubt we'll be hearing from the likes of the Illiterati anytime soon. Now, you have some reports to fill out, so I suggest you do it. Mm, reports? <laughs> That's a lot of work. Scary cliffhanger ending. There is no sequel, so just pretend that cliffhanger ending didn't happen. There's no sequel. We, we will never hear from Victor Vile again. In the book, when Dorothy's flying back home, the shoes fall off of her feet and land in the terrible desert, and that's why she can't just use the shoes to go back to Oz again. Although that would have been fun if she had done that. All right. Thank you for watching. Uh, this was not a 3 hours and 17 minute video. No, I did not play this this game for 3 hours and 17 minutes. Anyway, uh, 
Hope you enjoyed seeing me play uh, The Fiction Fixers, Curse of the Oz. Check out the other videos I mentioned in this video. Like, you know, my walkthrough for Fiction Fixers, uh, the Wonderland game. Our uh, Emerald City Confidential. Check out my walkthrough for that game. Or, you know, go to my Argle Fun 3 YouTube channel, subscribe to that, and check out my review of uh, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Bye!